Hello YouTubers. Uh, I'm rebuilding a 70 Emerald 85 horsepower. So so far, get all this points set, sparks going, and then I realize the leg it's not function properly, and then um, there's some scums and sticky stuff in the leg oil. So um, what I did is open it up, check everything out, and then realize everything can be used. Today I'm introducing a tasting method, which you want to taste the shift. See, see, there's a hydroelectrical shift legs. I have no complaint about it. Just make sure you put a good leg oil which is a special premium type C no other leg oil would work so after did all the clean up and then um, reconditioning resealing and then put the solenoid back and try to taste it whether it's working or not so this is what my setup today I'm good particularly telling the folks if you look closely this Playing, it's a four T's. It's not those nine, eleven, or sixteen, or seventeen. These are four T's. The old style um, emerald. Some Honda uses it. So in order to make it spin, I found a piece of a rubber hose and a drill bit, which is machinery drill bit. Put them in there to tie it down. So see is I put the drill on there to make it spin. By this way you can taste whether your shift is working properly. But I'm not going to do it. Today I already tasted it. Everything works just fine. You should see. Now the um, when you're not applying anything to the uh, electrical leads, which is in forward, this is uh, by default of design. When you put a positive 12 volt to the green leads, there's a green and blue, they'll stay in neutral. When you put two 12 volt to the leads, you'll get reverse. So reverse, it's um, um, all in the uh, there's a two type of things. One is on the lever switch, another one is push bottom switch. Push bottom switch has a a problem when you when you are on the forward and the push the bottom on the reverse, you might blast the gear up. So that's why they abandoned that idea and then making to a a lever switch. This one is a lever switch, a little switch underneath the lever to control the 12 volt to the lead which is going to this solenoid, there's two solenoids, all the way to, to the lower gear. And then, I appreciate this design. I had quite a few of this outboard, used it for years on end. Everything else is very well built. But the um, folks, I, I've still seen them on the water with the 65 to 75 emerald, 85 horse, 88, 100, 115, all the way to 140. They were the same electrical shift. Works just fine, but somewhat they abandoned this design, make it even cheaper design, where just for a liver or a spline shift. That's good. Nowadays, this electrical, hydroelectrical shift is out of its own era, but still run into the motor of those ages. They still have them. The trick is keeps a good leg oil nice and clean. Maybe do it once a season. You'll have no problem. Thank you so much. And then uh, this is the way today I'm introducing how you make the flame turn without damaging it. Because people say, no, how you make it turn? You can't put the drill bit, a drill right onto it because it's a three quarter inch thick. 
and this way you found a like a three eighth uh, no sorry three three quarter inch rubber hose and then uh, put the drill bit behind and drill, put the drill behind you'll get things going without damaging the spring and also making your taste also this setup can be also tasting your impeller once you put the impeller drop your legs in the water you can spin and see how it works this is all the elf word you can taste this way so this is a, a very easy setup for many many outboard applications there we go thank you so much youtubers have a very nice day bye bye